<laughs> Welcome back to Squawk Box. I'm Philip O. Live at Delta Airlines headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia, where the company has put out its third quarter earnings, and it is the first time the company has reported a profitable quarter since before the pandemic. For the quarter, Delta earning 30 cents a share, easily beating the expectation of 17 cents a share. Revenue also better than expected at $9.15 billion. Let me bring in Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta. And Ed, I think a lot of people are looking at this and they're saying, Fantastic. First profitable quarter since before the pandemic. What's going to be the outlook? More importantly, where do you see the industry right now? Well, thanks for coming down. It's great to be with you in person. And, you know, I'm, I'm real proud of our team. You know, the first profitable quarter post-pandemic, the first major airline to get to profitability. And from my understanding, we'll be the only major airline at profitability this quarter. And that's without any assistance from government aid or any other support. So the team did a really good job. It was a tough quarter as we've got the airline stood back up again. We fought through the variant. Uh, and we also did it without one third of our revenues back yet, and arguably the most profitable third. You know, our business travel, our international travel, still not in the numbers. Uh, so it's a good setup for us as we go forward. You know, I'm confident that the team's going to continue to do a great job. We're showing our resiliency, and we're importantly going to be ready when, when those uh, travel channels return. Fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. You're not prof uh, expecting a profitable quarter in part because of what you're seeing with fuel costs right, right now. Right. How much of a headwind is that? Well, fuel costs are a bit of a headwind. I think you're, you're looking at inflation across you know, many industries. And for us, fuel is our biggest uh, commodity cost, biggest individual cost outside of labor. Uh, it's up 60% this year and almost 20% just in the last month or so. So it's a, it's a headwind. And that's going to be the determinant whether we're profitable or not. But the demand is recovering strong, that, as we see in the advanced bookings. Two areas where we want to talk about business and international. Let's start first off with corporate travel. I believe for corporate travel, you're looking at it being at about 40% of 2019 levels. When do you expect that to start to pick up? Is it in the first quarter or what do we expect in the fourth quarter? Well, it's already picking up now. So we were at 40% in the third quarter. Right. And we saw about three or four weeks ago as concerns around the variant were starting to recede, we saw business starting to return. And our bookings, not just for business, but for all, all forms of travel, have been picking up week over week over week. Last week, collectively, we were up 9% our bookings over the prior week. A lot of that is due to business travel. Business travel, we had our best week of bookings in the post-pandemic era. Uh, almost 50% returned last week. And that also then includes what's happening with interna international as international returns next month as well. And that's the other area. Right now, you guys are, what, 35 percent of where you would be comparable in 2019. You've mentioned to me before we came on the air, they're chomping at the bit. Yeah. And you see it with the sales, the advanced sales in Europe. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So international travel will be open for European nationals, U.K. nationals, other, yep. other countries around the world coming into our country as long as they're vaccinated. Uh, when the announcement was made by the White House that they were going to open it up in November, immediately we saw a tenfold increase in bookings almost overnight between those European and, and international points of sale coming into our country. So we've been missing that. So if you look at the fourth quarter, you know, October is still going to be very much like September because those were bookings that happened 30 to 60 sure. days ago. The variant was still top of mind. People weren't ready to come back yet. So we're only going to be about 65 percent recovered in October. But November and December we're looking for a 10-point increase in our recovery rates because increased business demand, increased international opportunities. And most importantly, people are not as concerned about the impact of the variant. They're ready to get back to the life. So we're going to end the year at about 75 percent restored. We started the year at 25 percent. Huge increase. And so you look, and it's choppy. It's not a straight line up. But, you know, I'm really confident as we look into 22, we're going to continue to see good momentum to get our business fully restored next year.